Hey everybody, welcome back. Backgrounds looks a little different today. I'm sitting here at the table on the other side of the table and behind me we have the centerpiece that's done for Valentine's Day. If you watched my first vlog video, you saw me working on this. And originally I had done it a little different, but now I've changed it up. So I'm gonna show you this and the two other areas that I have done for Valentine's Day. And then I'm gonna pull my favorite pieces, we'll say maybe 10, and talk a little bit about them so you get a close up look of it. But here we go. So we're starting with the table here. And as you can see, the centerpiece consists of a lot of white milk glass swung vases. And I put them on top of this beautiful red tablecloth with, with the right, excuse me, white roses. I had used originally a white tablecloth with red roses, but I felt this was much more Valentine's-like. And of course, everything is sitting on top of this big silver tray that was Rosemary's. She had it in her basement in a wooden crate from England. So I pulled it out and I really liked it. So when it came to auction, I bought it. But we'll start up here. I utilized the vases. I decided that I was going to use these for more than just my Easter collection. I've used these for Easter for a couple years. This year, I decided to utilize them for Valentine's Day, and then I'm going to work it into St. Patrick's Day. Originally, when I set this up, I had some vine or excuse me, flocked velvet plastic roses from the 60s in there. And it was a lot of red. They weren't in the best of shape. So I ran down to Dollar Tree and picked up these carnations in pink, red, and white. And while I was down there, I was looking for something cool to figure out how to display these Valentines that you see here a little bit better. And I'll just grab this guy here and pull him out. But they had these picks that are just, I guess, hors d'oeuvre picks with little hearts on them. They came 20 to a pack, so I got a couple packs. Just used some double-sided tape. And now they have a little bit of stability so I can have them in these bases. I had originally just tried sitting them there and it didn't work. That gives it a nice pop with the different colors. It's very lovey-dovey, we'll call it. Down here, I'm still on the hunt for some possible milk glass candle holders and I'm not in a rush to go out and just buy whatever. I know we get milk glass through the auction all the time so I'll just keep my eyes peeled and, and get a couple sets, maybe two sets from the table so I can put these fantastic Lucite candles in there. So I have four in this one and four in this one. And there's some red, some clear with silver flex, this rare pink one. I just have one of those. And then over here I have the gold and silver, gold, silver, and another red one. And when I went to do this table, I was running around the house looking for some red and pink glass. I thought I had a piece of pink opalescent hobnail, which apparently I sold it. And I thought I had more than just a couple pieces of red glass, which I did. I'll start over here. Initially, and I'll pull this out so you can see. Initially, I had a picture over here that was a beautiful antique ruby red pitcher with silver overlay which was it's one of my favorite pieces but it had like a snake serpent eating monster on it it's very egyptian revival almost and i didn't think that was the greatest thing for valentine's day so i found this little pitcher at goodwill and let me see if i can reach around here at my let's grab the black light and it just glows. Look at that. So that's neat. I didn't realize that the other until the other night when I was playing around with the black light and I caught it and I was like, wow, that, that glows insanely. So I decided to add that and then of course put a little, oh, I pushed my carnation down, I'll have to fix that. 
little Valentine's Day in there with the kissing candy ones. You saw this cup and saucer. I picked it up at Northgate from my buddy Rick's booth. I got two of them. One's listed on eBay. So if you like it, go over and grab it. There's a bunch of watchers on it. This little red vase, and I'm going to move this guy all the way. I picked that up at the auction, and I like the design of it. It's got almost a thumbprint design. You can't really see it, but like there's some thumbprint vertically. And I just thought it was cute to put in there. This little lady I picked up at a yard sale for a dollar. Unfortunately, her head's been glued back on, but for a dollar, I mean, I don't care. It, it's fantastic. So she lives on, on the table here. Put that back there. Let me take you around to the other area. So this is the table, or I should say chest, on the other side of my fireplace. At Christmas time, you saw this with a bunch of white and gold items on it. And typically, you can see below, it holds my turquoise McCoy pottery collection. So we'll start up here at the top. These little cuties here, I got on Amazon. And they came in a pack of, I believe, 10. So there's a couple more there. But I wanted something that kind of just fill in some of these big spaces. And with Valentine's Day being so rare in terms of collectibles, I decided that I was just going to order these guys and use them. I popped in some of the extra carnations from the Dollar Tree there. I'm going to scroll down here. So let's start over here. This I got from my buddy Rick recently, and we can talk more about that later in the video. I had a couple of these honeycomb hearts that I picked up in an estate not too long ago that I just unfolded and put in here. These little pixies down here always live here except for Christmas, so they just have been hanging out. This little guy here I got from my friend Amanda, and there's a funny story about that, which we'll talk about that later in the video. You saw me pick up this guy at Northgate from my buddy Rick. Just this crazy clown. This lady here I picked up at an estate. She was downstairs covered in dirt, and so I added her to the collection. She's pretty cool. These little salt and pepper shakers I picked up at the auction one night. I just like the little broken hearts theme. This little planner here, I believe I got from my friend Amanda. She was selling some of them, so I picked up one or two from her. And then again, I have some of the vintage Valentines on the stakes and the little Valentine's Day picks. The big white pixie, he lives there year round. He's, he's a permanent fixture except for at Christmas. So that little guy there, I got from my buddy Rick again. It's adorable. We'll talk more about that. So this little dog here came from the Emma State. And it's a left in piece. It fits right in there. I got a couple dogs. Might talk a little bit about that later. There's some more of those honeycomb hearts. The Valentines, a lot of them I got at auction. We used to be able to buy them in lots. So I would pick one or two out and, and keep them and get rid of the rest on eBay. Little girl came from Rick with her crazy hair. Another pixie that lives here year round except for Christmas. And this great Valentine's Day poodle planner I picked up at a local antique store. So let me take you over to the other table here. All right, we are over by the front door. And this table I keep a lot of my favorite pieces at. So this little planner right here, my friend Beth gave me. It came with a lot of stuff one night at the auction and she didn't want it. So I added it to my collection. This little candy box is so teeny tiny. It says made in Japan. I can't focus, there it goes. But it was just held one little piece of chocolate. That came from a local estate. This planner here, my friend Amanda sold me, that was another one. And again, I have the little Valentine's Day on the picks with the double-sided tape just in there as a placeholder. This is another one that Amanda sold me at another date. 
that she found and I added it to the collection. Again, with some more Valentines. This little lady here is a February angel. I picked her up at the auction. This is a really special piece that we'll get into that I got from my buddy Rick. And I adorned it with some Valentines. And then I just added some more carnations and Valentines into the, to the bowls to give it some, or excuse me, into the glassware to give it some color. And then last but not least, this little cutie here that I picked up at an antique store for a couple bucks. And again, I got some vintage Valentine's Day cards and whatnot to, to display in that. So we'll sit down here and talk about some of these other pieces. Top 10 favorite Valentine's Day items that I have, which there's not a lot, so, but there are some really cool pieces. So I want to start off with this lady here. She doesn't have anything Valentine's Day related, but I love the mermaid. Eventually, she'll probably make her way into the mermaid bathroom if I ever amount enough Valentine's Day stuff to decorate in there. But I just love the, the expression on her face. She's She's been used, but she's very, very cool. And as you saw, I picked up this one recently from my buddy Rick. She's got the little hearts in her hair and the the cow lick and this little face. She's been loved, but I just love the expression on that face. She's amazing. Let's see. This little lady, as I said, I bought her at a yard sale for a dollar and her neck's been glued, but she's just amazing with the hearts and she's opening the, the heart shaped box with probably chocolate in it. And I just think she adds a really nice flair. This is another example of something that just because it's broken doesn't mean you should turn away from it. If this thing was in perfect shape, it'd be well over a hundred dollars. So for a dollar, I'll take it. This little lady, I really like cause she's holding the hearts. I picked this up at an auction and I think I paid like $10 for it or $12 for it, but I was determined to take her home because I thought she would fit perfectly in with the Valentine's day. She is made fine China, Japan, excuse me, fine quality Japan. So she's, I don't think she's left in, but she's one of those brands that came out of Japan in the fifties and she's in fantastic shape. We will talk about this guy. It says, I love you on his, on his bow here with this little face. I think he's called a little stinker. He's a Russian. And I got this from my friend Amanda. She had it listed on eBay and I got outbid on it. And I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go higher than it was, even though I love the face. And about a week and a half later, she says, I'm putting the skunk back up on eBay. They never paid for it. And so this time around, I won the skunk for less than they had bid on it. So man, if you're watching this, I love it. Thank you for taking the hit on this one. But his face is just adorable. Let's see here. This little guy says, Valentine's greetings. It's a poodle. I bought this and now I actually see I still have the price tag on it. I know where I bought this. I bought this up in Bloomsburg in a little shop called Wilson and Ross that Ruth absolutely loves to go into. So whenever we're there, we have to stop by and check it out. And the lady is fantastic that owns it. But I bought this up there for $8. And that was probably maybe a year and a half ago. So very cute piece. He's just hanging out there, biting the Valentine. And again, cute little Valentine's in there. This one I really love. I had seen these on eBay and I thought it was so cute with the little boy and girl kissing. This also came from Amanda. It's a Lefton. She had this list on eBay and I was the high bidder on it. She finds some fantastic stuff. 
So she's got a great eye and I love everything. I have a bunch of her boxes, as you saw in my Christmas video. I have some for Halloween too, which we'll see when we get to Halloween, but this is a great piece. As you saw these guys earlier, I got these from my buddy Rick and look at them. They're just legs up, having a good time. Love their expressions, his and hers. And I just think they're great. So I was very fortunate to come across these. But now I'm gonna show you my ultimate favorite piece. This is probably one of my favorite planners ever. And I got this from my buddy Rick. It is a Samson Imports Rel Pro. It's got a Rel Pro sticker on it and a Samson Imports imprint on it or writing on it. But this planner actually lights up. And I got to work on the plug. It does work. Um, I think it might be the light bulb. I have to play with it a little bit. But this lights up all red because there's a red bulb in there. And I just absolutely love it. I have not been able to find this on eBay. I did pay up for this. He had a very good price on it, but I still paid up for it. So this was one of my big splurges last year when I was like, oh, let me get something really cool for Valentine's Day. So Rick, if you got any more cool planners hanging out at home, I'm your guy. But I really, really love this piece and I'm glad to have it since it was my friends and I know he's probably watching this going, I wish I still had that, but it's got a good home. So that's all that matters. But as you can see, it's really cute. So that's it for the Valentine's Day haul and decoration portion of, of the video. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The last one's a really big one. We really want to keep growing. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video and you like all the decorations, make sure you check out my Christmas ones. I'll have one for St. Patrick's Day. I'll have one for Halloween. I'll have one for Easter. So we'll keep adding to this. And like I said, we're coming out with a lot of new content. So make sure you subscribe so you know when, when we put something out. Thank you again for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.